time sex is not the solution to getting pregnant faster. It's probably not going to help you and it adds so much stress. First of all, if you are using any of the apps that literally are period trackers, they are not fertility trackers. People get this wrong a lot. And people use the information that is given by these apps as a, a assumption that this app, this device on your phone that knows nothing about you actually knows when you're ovulating and they don't. So these apps are things like Glow, Period Tracker, Uvia. There's a bunch of them. I'm sorry, even the freaking Aura Ring does not know when you're ovulating. Maybe they will come out with this feature. I hope they will. Um, but so far, or even Aura Ring is just good at predicting when you're going to menstruate, not when you're going to ovulate. And just because you're menstruating on cycle day 28 does not mean you're ovulating on cycle day 14. This is a big misnomer. You can ovulate on cycle day eight and still get your period on cycle day 28. So do not let an app tell you when you're ovulating because most of the time I find that people are missing their fertile window. So they're either overshooting it, it's too early or too late. And it's based on some random prediction, a mathematical assumption on the part of the app that they're using as to when they're ovulating. So please, please, please do not make this mistake. So get rid of them, delete them off of your phone, do whatever you need to do, Two. just get rid of them. Here's what to do instead. Uh, you can use something called basal body temperature tracking and cervical mucus tracking. These are two actual fertility awareness tools helping to define your fertility window specific for you based on actual real data from your body. When I see temperatures, I can actually tell you a lot about your hormones, what fluctuations I'm seeing in your hormones,